On behalf of the commander of the Joint Readiness Training Center in Fort Johnson, Brigadier General Jason Curl, and the Post Command Sergeant Major, RACO Pena, welcome to the 23rd anniversary Memorial Observance of September 11, 2001. The bells rang this morning at 7.46 a.m. local time to symbolize the attack on the North Trade Center Tower. 1,521 people lost their lives in that attack. The bells rang again at 8.03 a.m. local time, symbolizing the attack on the South Trade Center Tower that took the lives of an additional 659 people. At 8.37 a.m. local time, the bells rang once more honoring the 184 lives lost in the attack on the Pentagon. At this very moment, 23 years ago, 40 passengers and crew members took fate into their own hands in the skies over Pennsylvania. With the cry of let's roll, those brave men and women fought the terrorist threat. They foiled a fourth attack on our nation by beating back the hijackers and forcing United Airlines Flight 93 to crash in a field near Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Please stand for a moment of silence as the bells ring one final time in honor of those American heroes and remain standing for the playing of our national anthem and the invocation given by Chaplain Michael Jeffries. Good morning. I invite you to join me in a moment of prayer as we gather this morning. God of all comfort and mercy, we gather this morning to remember those who responded to the call 23 years ago on 9-11. We ask for compassion and hope and grace during our 9-11 Patriots Day of remembrance for ourselves and for those who feel the grief of loss. The bell is told today to commemorate those lost in New York City, Washington, D.C., Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and to remember the nearly 8,000 servicemen and women and D.A. civilians and contractors who have lost their lives in the war against terrorism. Today, we remain true to remember those from everyday citizens to our firemen, policemen, and our heroic service members who responded on that day. The bell tolls today to honor those who demonstrated heroism, and courage in the face of evil and to remember our families and friends who carry a grief for the loss of a loved one. 
Let that day which exhibited the worst in the world be a catalyst to revealing the best in our human hearts. We honor the courage of ordinary people who ran towards crumbling buildings and locked airliner cockpits to care for friends and neighbors in times of need and crisis. May you continue the strength of the hands of those who remain engaged in the ongoing battle against evil. Be a shield around them and grant them success. These things we pray in your holy name. Amen. Please be seated. Do you remember that bright blue Tuesday morning all those years ago? What were you doing the very moment you heard about the attacks? How did the events of September 11, 2001 change you? It is a time in our lives that is seared in our memories. All Americans and many around the world will never forget where they were when they heard of the attacks. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the Joint Readiness Training Center in Fort Johnson, Brigadier General Jason Curl. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished visitors, commanders, command sergeants major, thank you for attending this 9-11 Remembrance Ceremony. Today, we gather to remember a day that forever changed our nation. A day when the very foundation of our freedom and security was shaken, but not broken. It has been 23 years since the tragic events of September 11, 2001. Yet that memory of that day remains vivid in our hearts and minds. We remember where we were, what we were doing, and how our lives were altered in the face of unimaginable loss. On that faithful day, we witnessed acts of terror meant to break our spirit, but what the world saw instead was a nation united by resilience, courage, and unyielding commitment to freedom. We remember the nearly 3,000 innocent lives lost in New York City, at the Pentagon, and in a quiet field in Pennsylvania. We remember the families who suffered undescribable loss, and we honor their strength. We honor the firefighters, police officers, paramedics, and countless others who ran toward chaos when most would have run away. Many of them paid the ultimate sacrifice, laying down their lives so that others might live. Their heroism that day stands as a lasting testimony to the bravery of our first responders whose dedication to serving others in moments of unimaginable danger will still never be forgotten. Let us take the time today to also salute the outstanding first responders from our neighboring communities. All of these first responders on this installation and off place themselves in danger to provide an environment safe for our soldiers, civilians, retirees, and families. We truly appreciate their dedication. On September 11, 2001, I was a captain in the 82nd Airborne Division waiting for company command in the division pre-command course. After the second plane hit the World Trade Center, we went back to our units. Ours was on the division ready force, similar to the current IRF, and we spent the rest of that day planning and preparing options from jumping into Afghanistan to helping others with the wreckage at Ground Zero. We did not go, end up going anywhere until August of 2002, but then spent 15 of the next 20 months deployed to Afghanistan and Iraq. Over this time, in the aftermath of 9-11, we saw a new generation of soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen answering the call of service. Many were inspired by the events of that day to put on the uniform to protect our nation and to ensure that uh, an attack like this would never again occur on American soil. They stood on the front lines of freedom, serving in distant lands, often in harsh and dangerous conditions. They, shot, they fought not just for the security of our, nations, our nation, but for the ideals of liberty and the justice that define us as Americans. I remember an announcer on TV that day who said, that the tragic events of September 11th would change our lives forever. And they definitely changed them for the next 15 to 20 years. 
Since 9-11, more than 7,000 U.S. service members have been killed in Iraq and Afghanistan, and around 300,000 have been wounded. Most career soldiers since September 11th have spent between 40 and 80 months deployed, missing countless births, birthdays, holidays, and family reunions. And we would do it all over again to prevent an attack like the ones on September 11th from ever happening again. To our service members, families, our veterans, and our Gold Star families who have sacrificed so much for this nation, we owe you. We owe an incredible debt, a debt that can never be repaid, but we will never fail to meet the sacred obligation to properly prepare and equip those who we send in harm's way and care for the families when they come home and to never, ever forget. As we pay homage to the lives lost and heroes forged on that day, let us also recommit to the ideals that define our nation, liberty, justice, and the pursuit of happiness. These are not just words, they are pillars upon which the United States stands. As service members, as first responders, as citizens, it is our duty to uphold these principles, to defend them against all threats, to pass them on to future generations, as the legacies of this great nation. Thank you for being with us this morning. May God bless you. May God bless our first responders and our service members. And God, may God bless the United States of America. All the way, forging the warrior spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the laying of the installation wreath and render honors for the playing of taps by PFC Alina Hyamis. Staff Sergeant Kendrick will now position a wreath in remembrance of the victims of the 9-11 attacks and their family members. This wreath also serves to honor the brave men and women of our armed forces who have paid the ultimate price during overseas contingency operations. Brigadier General Curl and Fire Chief David Cass will now render honors. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. Thank you for attending today, and may we never forget.